Hi class, this is Mr. G, Mr. Garcia. So we're continuing with 1.2. Okay, we already did the whole front. So we already filled this out. Uh, we found out that this is a better deal than this one. This one's only $3,000 $3, that you're gonna receive from me uh, on day 30. And this one's you're gonna receive over $5 million on day 30. And then we went ahead and did example number two. Okay, we uh, we know the parts of, an, of a power now which is the exponent, and then this is the base, okay? And we also went ahead and answered these on the table, okay? So let's remember our essential question of the, of the day for this lesson as well. What are the different components of a power? So the different components of a power are the base and the exponent, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the back. We're on example number four, okay? Now this table, uh, some of it is easy, some of it is not. So let's go ahead and go over it. This is example number four. So example number four says, complete the following table. So we gotta complete this table. So this is 11 times 11 times 11. So how many 11s are there? There's three, right? So in this case, we're going backwards. We're taking it from expanded no notation to exponential notation. So since there's three 11s, 11s is the base, and three is your exponent. Now, 11 times 11 times 11, if you put it in your calculator, you're gonna get one, three, three, one. Now on the next one, it's negative two to the fourth, negative two to the fourth. So that means the base is negative two, so the base is gonna be written four times. Negative two, negative two, negative two, negative two. Okay, when you do this, and you actually do the multiplication for it, if you remember from last year, uh, integers, negative two times negative two is positive four. And then this is positive four, this is positive four. So Four times four is 16, okay? All right, for the next one, it's one-fourth times one-fourth times one-fourth, and that is one-fourth to the third. Now, if you remember when you, uh, from like fourth grade, when you multiply uh, fractions, you just multiply across, just multiply that way. So one times one times one is one. Yes? And then four times four times four is 64. All right, now the, the next one's a little tricky, okay? But it's not that bad. Okay, so right here, I, I see two different bases. I see a two, and then I see the three, okay? It's okay, we can still do this, you got this. So you see the two here, right? So here's a two. Oops, let me put it as blue so, you, so it matches it. So two. And then how many twos are there? One, two, three, four, five. So two to the fifth. And then still have the times. And then three is the base. And the exponent, how many are there? Two. Now, when you actually do the calculation, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So this is 32, oops, 32 times, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Now, if you put it on your calculator, your answer, what's your answer? What are you going to get? 32 times 9, that's 18. So 2 times 9 is 18. You put the 1. So it's going to be 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 plus 1 is 28. So 288. That's your answer. Now, uh, I, I keep forgetting. Make sure you circle your answers. Makes it easier for me to see. All right, so let's keep moving. Now, they give us the exponential form here. 
So we have an X and we have a Y. So here's an X and here's a Y. I always change colors so it's a lot easier on the eye so you guys can see better. Okay? So how many X's do I have? How many X's? The base is X, right? But how many? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then how many Y's? Four. So that's it. Now, our value, since we don't know what X or Y is, our value is still the same. So this is X to the fifth, and then Y to the fourth. You don't have to put a, a times on there, okay? Because we know it's multiplication. All right, let's keep going. So in expanded notation, this is five, 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 five times five times five times W times W times W times W, okay? So this is a different base than this base. It's different, okay? We can't just write five times W, can't do that. So this is, how many fives do you see here? Three, so five to the third, five to the third power times, and then how many W's do you see? Four. So W to the four. Okay. And then when we actually put the value, since we don't know what it is, okay, uh, well actually we do know what it is. So what's what's five times five times five? Five times five times five is 125. So this is 125. And then we don't know what this is. So we go W to the four. That's your answer. Okay. Next one. Uh, they're trying to trick you here, okay? You see three different bases here. You see fours. You see X's. And then you see a Y. Okay? Notice how I put them all different colors. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay? Now, how many fours do you see? One, two, three, four. So four to the fourth. How many X's do you see? One, two. And then how many Y's do you see? One. And you can put a one up there. Okay. So let's actually solve for it and see what we get. So right here we're going to get four, four to the fourth. Four to the fourth is 256, because it's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. This is x squared, and then your y, because we don't know what x or y is. All right, next one. So our exponential form, this is an exponential form. Negative 2 to the fifth, that's our base, and 3 is our exponent. So there, our base tells us what is being written how many times. So in this case, it's negative 2 fifths written how many times? Three times. So let's do it over here. So it's since it's in parentheses, we're going to write it in parentheses too. Okay. And now let's actually do the multiplication. And remember... Uh, when you multiply fractions, you just multiply across. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Okay? And then on the bottom, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Okay? Well, you got it over here. Remember that? So 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Okay? And that is our answer. I keep forgetting to circle. I'm so sorry, guys. Circle. Or box them if it starts getting a little too confusing. I keep forgetting to circle or box them. You could circle, box them, diamond them. Uh, whatever you want, but as, so that your eyes can, can go towards that way. 
All right, on the last, uh, we're, we're over here almost to the end. So a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. Okay, so this is the base. Okay, that, that's all the base. A, b, a plus b, a plus b, a plus b. That's the base. So that's what you would write here, a plus b. And because it's in parentheses, you put it in parentheses too. How many are there? There are three of them. So a to the a plus b to the third. That's it. And then over here, since we don't know what a or b is, it's the same thing. a plus b to the third. Last one. I'm going to leave this one to you guys. So your answer is going to be 64. So what three numbers that are the same, or what four or five numbers, however it is, that are the same, multiply to get 64. You gotta think about this one, okay? So there's numbers that you're gonna put here that are gonna multiply together to get 64. And then you're gonna write it in exponent form, okay? That is the homework for you uh, to finish this one. Okay, so when you submit it in a little bit, I want this one completed, okay? Think, think about it first though. Think about what we just did, how when we multiply these, we get one, three, 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 one. So what numbers are we going to multiply together to get 64? I'll give you a hint. Those of you that are gamers, um, uh, back in the day, that was how many, how much memory was in video games back in the day. Okay? So go ahead and answer this question on your own, and uh, you're going to get a quizzes here soon on something like this. All right, guys.